Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Exciting day today because we are trying menu number 24 of the current MRE menus. We've battled through all 24 of them and we are here at the final. We do have to find menu number 21, Beef Goulash, which is the newest version of menu 21, but we'll get to that eventually. I'm scouring eBay for it and I'm gonna pick it up as soon as I can. I'm also starting to collect new and interesting MREs to try into the future, whether it be old, and discontinued menus or international menus. But today, like I said, menu number 24, Southwest style beef and black beans. Thanks for watching. So as we always do, we'll start by taking a look here. This is menu number 24 by the AmeriQual Company. Production code is the 178th day of 2018. We will try to get this open. Now I saw an interesting video. They said that you really need to get right on this little tip here, which is where I usually try, but if you get into that little tip, then you'll be able to get these peelable seals. And <laughs> certainly seems to work. We'll start with our main dish. This is Southwest style beef with black beans. Of course, it comes with the sleeve for the FRH. We have a second retort pouch here with spiced apples. That's kind of neat. I wonder if we'll heat those up or not. We'll figure that out. Here we've got the trans fat free carrot pound cake. That's a new item. So it's always cool to get new items, a not new item. This is cheese spread and it is, it's cold in here guys. It's gotten pretty chilly. It's about uh, 30 degrees outside here in Louisiana. So a little bit of a cold front and uh, my shop is pretty much probably, uh, I don't know, hold on, let me check the temperature. All right, it's uh, 51 degrees in here, so pretty chilly. Pretty chilly for sure. Got some cheese spread we'll put right here. We've got some tortillas, so that's good with the cheese spread. Very nice for a cold day. We've got mocha cappuccino instant powder. It's pretty exciting. We've got, oh man, beef stick. I wish. All right, we've got beef stick. All right, we've got our MRE spoon and our FRH. Let's open up our accessory pack. All right, we've got ionized salt, toilet paper, moist towelette. Over here, we'll put our raspberry type three beverage base and our gum. So much to my dismay, we have the beef stick. I guess I'll give it another try, although I really don't want to. We're gonna start as usual by getting our meal into the FRH. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to heat up the apples. What do y'all think? I'm gonna try and see if we can heat up both the apples and the main dish with our FRH and then we'll start getting our drinks together and the rest of this onto a tray. So we're gonna start with our drinks as usual. I've got some water boiling, so we'll start with this beverage-based raspberry type three, which is pretty good. It's like a raspberry crystal light. We'll stir this up. We're gonna set it to the side and let's make our mocha. So we're gonna make it right in here. Um, just kind of open this up. We can pour our water straight in. It says to use six ounces. I've found that, that makes a very strong coffee. So I usually use eight to 10 ounces. Let's open this up. Let's get our water. Close it good. That is closed very good. So carefully, we've got both of our drinks. We've got the raspberry uh, beverage base and our cappuccino. We'll cover that up. Let's get some food out onto a tray. Okay, let's just get it over with. Here it is, guys. The lowest rated item. I think the lowest rated item consistently in this, the beef stick. It's mushy, it's pretty nasty. We'll go ahead and open it up. Yep, smells, oh, just as bad. Oh my gosh, what I do for YouTube. All right, we've got our trans fat free carrot pound cake. Let's open that up. This is a new item. It's always exciting to get a new item, like I said. It smells good. Get this little thing off. Oh, that smells good. Of course, it's almost Thanksgiving here, which is kind of nice. So that kind of adds a nice, a nice little holiday feel to it. All right, let's get our tortillas out. These are pretty basic guys. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What am I talking about? We've got Chipotle tortillas. I didn't even see that. Oh man, look at that guys. Chipotle tortillas. Now they're really cold, so I'm not surprised. Oh yeah, they're crumbling a little bit just because they're so cold. Or maybe it's the Chipotle, like you can see. This is the first time I've ever had, yeah, separation like this. We'll just make four little individual, we'll make, we'll make do, we'll make four little individual taco things. We got our cheese spread. We're gonna save the cheese spread for, um, for the tacos with the beef and everything. 
I'll put that right here. We'll just cover up the beef stick like it's not even there and I won't I won't like mentally accept that it's there until I have to taste it. And this FRH didn't go off as well as I'd like, but oh, I mean, it's still warm. This is the uh, apples and spiced sauce. It's kind of nice because we got the spicy smell and pound cake, carrot pound cake. These are just a little warm through, which is nice. So let's take a look at these apples. Oh yeah, I mean, it looks like apple pie filling. Can't go wrong with that, right? All right, and our main dish here, Southwest beef and black beans. Let's see what we got here, guys. I didn't get it all. All right, we'll just squeeze it this way. Kind of looks like chili. So there it is. We're gonna go ahead and start with our drinks. Uh, we'll start with our raspberry beverage base. Universally, guys, I can tell y'all now that I'm 24 uh, MREs in, these beverage bases tend to be good. The electrolyte drinks, some of them are not as good, but these uh, beverage bases are really good. Mm. And I particularly like the raspberry, that it's good. The drinks are a star on this menu. This is the mocha cappuccino. Mm. Definitely watering it down, I think helps a little bit. It's just super sweet when you don't. I might've added too much. Calls for six ounces, I think I put 10, I'd go with eight. Still very, very good. All right, let's just do it. Let's get it over with. We're gonna eat the beef stick. I don't want to, but I'm gonna do it for you guys. Maybe it'll be a little better this time. Oh, okay, I got it through. That is so bad. I can't explain to you guys, it's mushy, it's sickeningly sweet, teriyaki nastiness. I, I got nothing else. If there's anyone out there that likes this, please comment below. I'll question your sanity. All right, so next let's try, you know what, we'll try some of the apples because we'll leave the uh, pound cake for dessert. Dessert. It's kind of nice, got two desserts in this um, particular meal. Yeah, it's like an apple pie filling, very spiced. A lot of allspice, really, really sweet, which you would expect, but a lot of allspice, really good. Man, those are tasty. All right, let's do some of this. This is the uh, Southwest style beef and black beans. It smells and looks like traditional chili. And we're just gonna put a little bit here on our tortilla. Get some of this cheese spread. Oh my gosh, guys, that, that beef stick is so bad. I don't think I'll ever get the taste out of my mouth even eating other stuff. All right, y'all can see just how cold it is in here compared to normal. This is just like a glob of cheese. All right, let's see what we got. Nice warm beef, I like chili. We've got uh, the chipotle tortillas, which are new. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh, it's good. Yeah, straighten y'all out of here. That is tons of flavor, guys. Tons of flavor. All around, tons of flavor. The beef itself is awesome. I see black beans, I see corn. Nice big chunks of beef, you can see it right here, and on its own it tastes good. It's like a really nice chili. It doesn't taste overly canned, which is tremendous. Wow, that taste makes up for this action right here. Get a little drink. All right, so you guys can see what a, what a fascinating thing these uh, shelf-stable pound cakes are. It's like glisteny, it's soft. I mean, it's like really interesting. Anyway, uh, let's give it a smell. It smells really good. Smells like carrot cake with icing. There's no icing, but you smell it like it is. You can see chunks of carrots, nuts. I would imagine that the nuts in these can go rancid pretty easily because nuts are pretty classic for going rancid. So you don't want to go too far past the best by date on things like this with nuts. Let's give it a try. Mmm, that's good. That's really good. Mmm, -hmm. that's it right there, guys. That's the best dessert in all of the MREs I've tried. Without question, number one dessert. Not overly sweet, I thought it might be overly sweet. I mean, it's obviously sweet, but it's not sickeningly sweet, and it's got so much depth of flavor. You taste the carrots, you taste cinnamon, you taste allspice, you taste the nuts. Wow, that is really high quality tasting stuff. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy a little bit of this meal, and then we'll meet across the way to give this our rating. So the initial journey of the current 24 MRE menus is coming to an end. I'm pretty excited about it. It's been a long 24 videos. I'm excited to do more MRE videos, and I've got a couple of interesting things coming up, so stay tuned. Like I said before, this is gonna be kind of a continuing series, maybe once a month, twice a month sometimes, depending what I have but maybe at least once a month I'm gonna do an MRE video on Friday, so stay tuned. Today again we did menu 24, which is Southwest style beef with black beans. It was really quite good. Now like all of our MRE videos, we're gonna give all the components and the overall meal a rating. The rating system is from one to 10. One is food that I would hesitate to feed to my dogs. A five is food that I would say is tolerable, but not necessarily enjoyable. And a 10 of course is food that I would eat any day of the week, no questions asked. As always, we're gonna start with our drinks. 
Drinks were a superstar in this meal. We had the raspberry beverage base, which is one of my favorites. Again, just to review some of the things I've said over the last 23 videos, all these beverage bases, you can water them down and still get a lot of flavor. I went ahead and used the full 20 ounces. Very flavorful raspberry, really, really good. Coffee, I traditionally do not like very much, and it is welcome to get this mocha cappuccino. It is so good. Again, I put 10 ounces instead of six ounces, because in the past, the six ounces was a little sweet. I overcompensated. I'd go with eight ounces if I was gonna do it again. The drinks, we're gonna give the raspberry beverage base a nine, and the mocha cappuccino an eight. Next, we're gonna start with the food, and we're gonna start with the beef stick. This is, by far, the worst item on any MRE menu, in my personal opinion. Again, people out there might like it, but it's going down today. It is gonna be a two. I don't really remember what I've given it, but guys, I see it and I automatically get a physical nauseated feeling. I'm not gonna call it a one because I'll give anything to my dogs, all right? Let's face it, they'll eat probably just about anything. Although we are going to potentially challenge that in the future and see if my dogs will eat the beef stick. They'll eat it, no doubt. The concern is what will happen an hour or two later, if you know what I mean. Beef stick, I'm giving it a generous two. It's that bad. It's just, just sickening. I don't know how to describe it. Go try it and give me some, uh, some feedback down below. You know, it's that classic, it's disgusting, oh, you gotta try it. Yeah, go ahead and try it and let me know. Moving over to the spiced apples, kind of an interesting uh, item. You know, you get two sweet items in this meal, which, which really isn't that bad. You could eat these cold, you could eat them hot. They're basically like an apple pie filling out of one of those, you know, convenience store apple pies. But the apples are a little bit denser. They feel more like apples. They're not super mushy. And the flavor is actually very good. It's ultra sweet, which you would expect, but it's very good. It's got a lot of allspice, a lot of cinnamon. Overall, we'll give the apples a seven. Looking at the tortillas themselves, I've traditionally given the tortillas all a seven. I think these tortillas, from the standpoint of flavor, are probably an eight, but they fell apart pretty bad, so that kind of knocks them down to maybe a five or six. So once again, the Chipotle tortillas, we're gonna give a seven. The Southwest style beef and black beans was good. I mean, that's the only way I can put it. It was really, really good. I don't like canned tasting chili. It's overpowering. It's just not very good. This was slices of beef, it wasn't ground beef. It was obvious what they were, the corn and the beans and the tomatoes, everything acts together. It's spiced extremely well. It's not overly spicy, but it tastes really good. We're gonna give the main dish an eight, which I think is a very good rating. You put that together with the cheese spread. The cheese spread is always a seven here on the channel. Cheese spread with the meat and the tortilla, we're gonna give it a nine. That combination together is a real winner. Tons of flavor, absolutely appetizing. We'll give it a nine. Lastly, we are getting to the dessert. This is the carrot pound cake. I wasn't quite sure what I'd think about it, but we're gonna end this with a bang. Let me tell you guys, it's a 10. I don't think I've given a 10 on any of these meals. This is a 10. It is so good, it's light, it's fluffy, it's not artificial tasting at all. It tastes like a homemade carrot cake. I don't know what else I can say other than to say it is a 10. A super good dessert to end these 24 menus. So overall, what do we got? Well, we're just gonna throw the beef stick away because let's face it, if I got it, I would throw it away. We're not gonna really count it. It's terrible. It would knock the overall score down. We're gonna concentrate on the things that are good. We've got two tremendous drinks. We've got great tortillas, great main dish, awesome desserts. Overall, this is one of the better menus. I give it a nine. If I was forced to eat the entire beef stick, I will tell y'all, it would drop this down to a five. It's that bad but we're gonna forget it and give it a nine. Well, there you go, guys, the 2018 or so 24 MRE menus. As I said, we're missing the beef goulash, which takes the place of the Asian-style beef strips. We're going to get that as soon as we can. We'll review it. Coming up, I've got several awesome MREs just to let you guys know. I got a 24-hour British ration. I got a 24-hour Russian ration coming in. I got an interesting Chinese ration. I've got a humanitarian, U.S. humanitarian, vegetarian uh, ration. A lot of cool stuff and I'm always looking for new stuff. So if y'all have any ideas on what I should review, let me know down below. Of course, I don't really wanna spend you know, $150 for a little bitty Spanish ration. I'll keep an eye out for things over the next year or two and try to purchase things that are interesting and make sure and share them with you guys. Do me a favor, guys. If you like the video, if you like the series, hit the thumbs up down below. Check down below, there's a link for all 24 of the MRE menus. They are now complete. You can go check out any of the 24 menus and I'll continue to add anything else I put into that playlist. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscription button and if you wanna be absolutely sure you don't miss any videos, hit that ding dong bell and you'll be the first to know. I really appreciate all the support, guys. I've enjoyed the MRE series quite a bit. And as I said, I've decided to make it a permanent fixture here on the channel. Not every Friday, of course, but we're gonna have fun with it over time. Hope you guys stay tuned. As always, stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.